Hey, Tai here. So welcome to the VR Tech channel. So we know that haptics is a big problem in VR because we always use controllers that at the end of the day, we still rely on vibrations and on buttons. With so many different solutions in the past, like fancy gloves that, by the way, I still have to review. So stay tuned for it. <laughs> But this solution from Microsoft Research really brings everything to totally another different level, making you feel like grasping and catching in VR with a sense of velocity and also weight. So yeah, of course, let's discover it in this video. Let's get into it. All right, here we are. So I'm gonna leave this video in the background because it's somehow mesmerizing for me. I can't stop watching and watching to really try to understand if this is a real solution or not to a problem that we actually have in VR, the tactile, the haptic feedback on our hands. We saw different prototypes in the past, like normal touch with which they can simulate a virtual object surface inclination and texture on the tip of the index. And also the other solution that was called claws that enable a person to feel uh, when it grabbed an object between her finger, understanding the physics of the object and the resistance that the object is gonna give to your hand. Now pivot this on-demand handheld, as they call it, is actually focusing to understand the physics of the object, to understand the weight in a way the movement, the pressure, and the resistance to grab this object. So how do we achieve all of this? Well, of course, following the Newton's law. So yeah, maybe it's more complicated than what we were expecting. This new controller, let's call it like that, is something very particular because it's not attached to your hands like we're used to, but it's attached directly to your wrist. And with that, there's gonna pivot up and down and they're gonna be able to like just put an object in your hands when it's needed. Of course, using an integration of the software and the hardware at the same time. So imagine, actually you don't have to imagine because in this video, uh, to try to grab an apple. When you get closer, the object that's in your hand, this handheld, is gonna get closer to your hand. And when you reach it, it's gonna start to touch your palm. At the point, you can just grasp. And that's exactly like you will do in real life. To simulate the way this apple will keep pushing on your palm. And that's possible because the it handled itself is attached to your wrist and not directly to your palm. So you can use that force over there. And any kind of external force can be simulated via vibration. It's something that we are pretty used to. But this is the part that I love the most, is the moment when you let go the apple and the controller is gonna get away from your hand, of course, because again, it's attached to your wrist. And if you have two of those, make it possible to pass it from one to the other and really understand the weight. And fun fact is that this controller is gonna be able to simulate a catch of a 55.9 miles per hour throw through the visual motor illusion. And that's freaking impressive. Kind of a perfect simulation for a baseball game, for example. But to do that in the realistic way, it has to be super fast. And it actually, it is. With a 0.55 millisecond per degree, or to make it simple, to go from grasp to fully retracted, in about 340 milliseconds. So throwing, catching and passing objects in VR will be possible with that and feel very realistic. Another thing can emulate uh, grabbing anything because it's not just an apple, of course, or round objects, but in a moment when you have a pressure in your hand, it's gonna feel like any other controller. And also as a trigger on it, that means that you can also uh, have different actions. Imagine having a gun in your hand or maybe a torch like they show in this video or at the end of the day, just grab everything and feel the resistance of the object because in the moment where there's more resistance, it's gonna push even more on your palm. And in the moment where there's no resistance, it's gonna just lay over there. And while yes, it looks a little wonky, at the end of the day, it seems like a real great solution to have a great haptics in VR, to really be able to feel uh, the pressure on your hand and really feel like you're grabbing something instead of just having the controller on your head all the time. So this goes a little further in trying to explain the physicality in VR and think that it could be a great solution. Now, uh, how much could they scale it down? How much they can make uh, these uh, little ball that you have in your hand uh, change in shape in terms of what you're actually touching and seeing like uh, what they were doing in other researches, maybe it's something possible. And if they can really put together all these different researches in just one object and bring it to the market, that would be super interesting, of course. And another thing that they actually did is to put the controllers inside of the ball, uh, like the Windows Mixed Reality controller over there. And in that way, you're able to actually use the controllers when you are using them and not use them at all uh, when uh, they're not in use. So you're able to interact with objects in the real world. And in the moment when you are actually in the virtual reality experience, you're going to be able to use that as well. 
It's just so funny though that probably for this demo they actually glued a vibe tracker on the back of your hand to be able uh, to understand where the hand is. For sure there's a better solution of it and this is still of course a prototype, it's not gonna arrive anytime soon, it's not something that it will arrive to the market because this is mostly part of the research to understand what's possible to do but it really seems an interesting concept and I think they can uh, keep going on it. But anyway guys what you think about it, do you think that the future of VR relies on uh, haptics or actually just on the virtual reality headsets and that's it. Let me know in the comment below. Talking about haptics, we're gonna see many different accessories on the channel very, very soon, like this guy to emulate the recoil and yeah, even some more futuristic stuff. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> but anyway guys, if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the video, like. Subscribe to the channel for more VR tech and if you really love the channel, so the join button down there. Little down further, there's the Patreon that really helps over here as well, get prior access to the videos and down there we also have the t-shirt sticker and max 2020 item number one so check them out for sure and again like dislike subscribe and see you guys next video ready for the future